Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oracle of Ages. I am Nintendo Capri Sun, and it is time now for level 8. You know, I should have, like, exited and re-entered the dungeon, just so, you know. So whatever. Anyway, well, there's a secret exit out of this room, and it's right here. This probably took me, like, four minutes to find last time. I went all the way around this room. If you talk to that statue there, he says, listen to your sound. Listen to the sound of your sword against the wall. And eventually you find out you have to move a statue to even go. Howdy guys. This is Nintendo Capri Zone. I'm just kidding. It's not. I mean it is, but it's not the beginning of the video as I may have led you to believe just now. Stop doing that. You don't come up from under me like that. You don't get to do that. What are you doing? You're crazy, man. Dude, I didn't... Did I... I did get grabbed by those once last time, but not... Ugh. But not twice, not two times in a row, man. What are you... Huh? Can I have my first take back, please? I'll, I'll, I don't care if it is only showing three quarters of the screen at this point. This is better than what we're doing here. You're the last one, right? No, they respawn. Okay, there's only three of them. All I have to do is just kill them. Like Sagittarius. Alright. Down we go. Little treasure here. Grab this and grab a small key. Very good. Small key for a locked door. Why did I... Actually, we do need to go that way. Throw a bomb here. Throw one here. Get whatever this is, which is nothing. Uh, I don't... Oh, yes I do. I do need to... I do need to blow out one more. Nice. Okay, we, uh, can we... Yeah, we can do this. Alright, so, grab this here. We have four switches in this room. Actually, three. I don't know why I said four. And you have to hold these two down like that. Then, unbelievably enough, you stand on this one, shoot this here, and boom! This has got to be so much... Like, ugh. I don't remember exactly how long it took me to solve some of these. I remember this room was a little confusing. It wasn't too bad. Anyway, we have a key over there. We can't do much about that right now. A bit more spinny shit here. We have block puzzles. Lovely. Hang on. Well, you know what? I'll get that on the way back. Screw it. Oh, wait. I have to go that way. Okay, I don't remember this. Well, I only did it once. I'm not going to remember everything. But, uh, we'll see. I guess I can take that ring off, because I got full life here. As I said, I love this ring. Don't want to be a liar. Don't want to be a liar. Eh! Everybody want to pass as cats. We all want to be big, big stars. Yeah, but we got different reasons for that. Believe in me. Because I don't believe in anything. Mm, that song is so fun to sing. All those falsettos and just everything. You know, Mr. Jones and me coming through stereo. Okay, so we got another key. That's for the switch back there. So I us go back and do that. This dungeon is huge, by the way. But it's surprisingly linear for how big it is. There's so many rooms that you come back to, like, multiple times because of the way it's designed. Like, you could come in through here, or up there, over there, and it's all the same room, but you come back to it multiple times from different directions to do different things. And that's fascinating to me, that they managed to design, do such a good job at designing this temple, you know, in such a way that it maximizes the efficiency of the poop. Alright, so we have the compass, we don't need that really that much, but whatever, we have it now. Before we continue, we need to hit the switch again here. I remember this. So it's kind of like, oh, hey, we have another level 2 situation on our hands. You know that puzzle that linked to the past that I can never seem to stop talking about? It's another example of that. Anyway, so we can hit this from over here. Okay, statue, statue. I don't know, I can't help but feel like I might have gotten a little lucky last time, though. And this may not go as smoothly this time. But we'll see. So, I mean, for the most part, so far, there's only been one way to go. 
Oh, this is, well, you can jump these if you want, I guess, I don't really know. It seems easier to just do that. I don't think there's anything over here. I think there's a fairy in one of those pots, but whatever. And there's this dude who's gonna come over here and try to harass you. So we get a locked door, we, or we get a key, not a locked door. Ow. No, get two. Ooh, boy. That was a little too close, man. A little too close. Alright, so what are we doing now? Oh, that's right. There's this thing over here. Okay, you might not see this, but you can actually teleport over here. So what we're trying to do now is kind of get these rooms set up so we can go any way we want to. Without having to come at it from the other, you know, the other side or whatever. Or whatever. Do we do that right now? I don't remember if we do that now or what. I think we have to. You see, that's the switch up there. When we hit that switch, the staircase will appear right here. Then we'll have total control over where we're going in this room, which basically we do now. So there we go. So what we want to do... So we want to go to the right now, I think. Have we been up from here? No, we haven't. That's right, because... Zelda 1 references again. Beep, beep, beep. That is so cool that they keep doing that. I don't know how much of that is in seasons, but hopefully a lot more. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba -ba. Hell yeah, with the Zelda 1 references, I'll tell you what, man. Alright, so now we can come over here this way. Yeah, man, I love that extra damage. So good. Alright, I'd say we go up first. That we're not going to be able to do much about. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. I don't actually know. Whatever, let's go down. Okay, another one. It's going to go right here. Oh, hell, we don't need no stinking spin shot for this. You guys are all one-shotty anyway. Oh, and then this puzzle, okay. Hey, you know what? Let's do the smart thing here and not be... Not be stupid about this. Yeah, this puzzle took me a few tries. Here, this room is a little different than some of the other ones. The statues are arranged very strangely, but... Okay, so you come through here and then you want to go up here. Wait a minute. Okay, stay close to what you're doing. I think as long as we... Yeah, here we go, here we go. We got it. We're good. See how much faster the dungeon goes by when I know what I'm doing? You got the power glove! It's so good. Believe me, it is. Alright, so now that we... Wait a minute, is that... There was nothing else to do in here. Oh, I, wanna... I don't want to look. I don't want to know. Actually, no, this is just going to send us back anyway. Okay, never mind then. I was worried that was going to take me back away from this room, because I saw what I could do in there. As soon as I had the item I needed. So, let us equip our power glove and try it out. Ooh, look at that, man. We are so good. Let's get rid of the keys. Should be a switch in here somewhere. Oh, dang. No, we need to come in. Okay, see, we need to be on top of these blocks. But we're on the wrong... Oh, no, 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 no. We can go down here. Hang on. Don't get your panties in a wad just yet. D get out of here. Okay, so we want to hit this. And stay on top of these. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Good shit, man. Good shit. Alright. And now we can actually get over here to this staircase, which we couldn't before. So it all just kind of comes together in this beautiful cornucopia of rooms. I have no idea what other word to use besides that there besides seeds and hearts. Nothing to seed there. Oh, Eganim. Hello, Eganim. Boom. Suck it. 
No, let me hit you. Let me put my hands down. Oh, I shouldn't be, uh... No, 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 not gonna fall for that. I'll try this one. No, dang it. You're just as bad as your SNES counterpart, except worse. Shoot, so he threw the good one and it was off screen. Now he's gonna throw more of the shit ones. You know, the shit ones. There it is. Okay, get over here. You're done. Thank you. Extra damage for the win, and of course I don't need to change my ring because I just got a fairy, y'all. So who needs fairies, right? Or who needs, uh, regen? Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything in here under these, but... There was one room somewhere in here that had a staircase under one of them, and it took me a minute to find it, but... Man. It wasn't too bad, though, because, like, when I see the statues in the room, I kind of go straight for them anyway most of the time, and it didn't take me too long before I went for them in that room. Okay, that's that. More on that later. <laughs> because you may think that we're almost done with- Dude! Get off my face, man! Off my case, toilet face! Yeah, that's right. Gonna watch our life though. Was there another way to go in here? Because I swear. Well, there was, and we did go that way, but it was nothing, so. There is one point where I need to branch off slightly from the main path to pick up the boss key. There's nothing under that statue, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Alright, come through here. One shot the mummy, ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. It's already equipped, what are you doing? Look for hearts. Any that we can find would be most helpful. <laughs> I thought I had the thing equipped, but apparently I didn't. I said I was not paying attention at all. There's a room with traps like later in this dungeon that's totally awesome. It's like a non-stop barrage. And you just have to survive, that's all you can do. I'm taking too many risks here. I'm gonna put on that other ring at some point. Well, never mind. <laughs> like I said, who needs the ring? You got the slate. Kristen Slater? No, I don't think so. How old is he by now, anyway? He's probably getting on up there. <laughs> Gotta be at least, like, 45 or something by now. Sometimes I think about people, like, when I was a kid. Oops. Like, when I was a kid, Christian Slater was older than I was. And he, you know, I always thought of him as, like, super old. Like, I remember the first time I saw the Little Mermaid and Ariel gets on her dad's case. She's like, I'm 16 years old! I'm not a child anymore! And when she said that, I remember thinking, oh, she's old. Because at the time, I was, like, 14 or something. So anyway, well... Anyway, here's where you put the slates when you get them, so we'll just go ahead and... Work on getting some more here. I don't think it matters which order you get these, so I'm just gonna kinda go any way the wind blows here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I have a key. What am I doing? Okay, and there's really no point in doing this lava here because there just isn't. I don't remember why. So, once again, it saves time if I just go. You know, get to the point here. Oh, uh, let's see. Power glide. Let's do it. Oh, shoot! No, oh, I didn't want to do Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me! Please don't let there be a curse. Please don't let there be a curse. Alright. There we go. Slate number two. See, this isn't going to take so long. But when you first see it, you might be like, oh my god. I'm gonna go running around the dungeon trying to find four more slates. But when you look at the map, it's like, well, holy shit, you know. It's no wonder there's four more slates to find. Here's that room. The statue right here has got a staircase under it. It's a little sneaky. <laughs> now the question actually becomes... No, oh, I don't think I know that one. Oh, no, I remember being torn last time here between which way to go first. I'm gonna go left. This might be the boss key. I kind of hope it is. So I don't have to worry about this coming up later. Yes, it is. 
Got the boss key, okay. Glad I went that way first. <laughs> so I remember last time I came like two screens down here and then I changed my mind and went the other way. And I was glad I did. It's like if you go two screens and you haven't hit a dead end, then maybe the other way is the dead end, right? This right here is actually really easy, so... Jump on here and let's go for a ride, baby. Yeah, you don't see a lot of ice physics in this game. You do, however, see floor tiles. Just wait away. Square away. I mean, at least they're a little faster than they are in Link to the Past. They don't sit there and fnoot in the air for like 10 million years. Ooh, I think this might be that room. Let's see if we can ace it. Oh! Oh, man, the very last one. See what I mean? It's just a work of art. I don't know, man. This whole dungeon is just a work of art. It's a beautiful thing to look at. Beautiful colors. Uh-oh. Alright, get over here. Mm, one shot. Two terms! No. Anyway. <laughs> so there's slate number three. We're almost there. But yeah, it's like I was saying before, you know, I used to see those people and think, oh, they're old. I used to think Lydia in Beetlejuice was old. You know, and I was shocked one day, like, ten years down the road when I went back to watch her. I'm like, holy shit. So what happened to her? It's like, when I was little, I used to wonder why they called her a little girl. It's like, no, she's big. She's humongous. She's old. But then it's like, well, no. She's, she's like, what, 13? I don't know. Oh boy, this room was a pain in the ass. Uh, somehow, my first time in here, I got through this room without taking a hit. I did not take a single hit. Let's see if we can perform the same miracle we did last time here. Well, I guess if you watch them, you know where they're going. It's not really that hard to predict. It's only a problem when there's just too many of them. There's too many of them, you know? Anything to uh, pick up in here now? So we're heading for that fourth slate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! A little underwater action. Oh, shoot. Okay. Please don't electrify right before I hit you. Anyway, this owl here will say something like. I don't even remember. Something about lighting the way your eyes will see or something. Oh, no. Okay. The one part of the dungeon I had actually a lot of trouble with was this part here. And you know what? Because of this, I'm gonna switch the ring before I even attempt to do this. I found that if you kinda hang out in the middle, it's not nearly as bad. Okay, that actually worked quite well. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through the whole thing without... Mm. Oh man, I'm so good. It's what a difference a practice run can make, right? Anyway, come down here. This I didn't have any trouble finding this at all. I saw the passage. I was like, okay, I'm going there. I want to see what that is. And what it is is the fourth slate. What it is is the fourth slate. It's an ear murmuring and mumbling and booming, boom, boom. So anyway, well, actually, my mom's coming home from the hospital a little later today. She's been in there for. 12 days now, and she's coming home at like 4, and they say, well, they're letting her go at 4, so she probably won't be home till 5, but... Oh, that's nice. But yeah, so, um, she's, uh, I don't know, I don't even know if I've told you guys about this, but, um, but it's kind of important, I almost maybe should make it its own video. But I already did the video about Dad passing away and all, I didn't want to... I just didn't want to give you guys too much crap to worry about, so... But yeah, my mom's been having some major stomach pains the last few months. She's been complaining about it a lot. And uh, finally, it got so bad, she just had no choice but to go to the doctor. And Les was telling her, you know, you need to go see the doctor, but she's stubborn like that. She's like her dad was. And uh, anyway, I guess it kind of, now she's paying the price for it, because it turns out there was a mass in her large intestine, and it turned out to be colon cancer. 
Same thing my dad was diagnosed with eight years ago, and now it turns out my mom's got it too. I'm not, I mean, I'm not as surprised actually in mom's case because she's smoked for 47 years. She started when she was 16, and she's pretty much done it solid since then. There was a point when I was a kid, when I was like 10 years old, she quit smoking for about six months and then she started again. I still remember her like marking every single day on the calendar with a number of how many days she'd been without a smoke. And now, her being in the hospital for this two weeks, this is only the second time now since she was a teenager, and she's 62 now. This is her first time since being, well, second time since she was 15 or 16 years old that she's gone for any more than a day without a smoke. She hasn't had one for two weeks now. So she's going to be coming home in like an hour, and I'm a little curious, like, because she still has a carton in that desk drawer. And I'm wondering if I shouldn't, like, take it and get rid of it before she gets home so that she won't be tempted. I don't know how serious she is about quitting, but she says she hasn't missed it that much. But they've been giving her, like, nicotine patches and stuff like that, so... I don't know. I mean, if I was smart, I'd probably get rid of them, but... I feel like that's kind of intruding on her. I mean, it should be her choice, you know? So I found out with this guy, you gotta hit those fists and make them go back to him, but they also have to sort of, like, bounce off the wall and hit him, I think. I'm not sure how it works, but I found out if I stood over here... Wait a minute. It was over generally in this area. Maybe it needs to be closer to the wall. Or closer to him, I'm not sure. I don't know what's... Oh! oh shit. There we go, that's a, that's a good one. This boss actually has, like, four different phases. It's pretty surprising. I really wish I could have kept my reaction to the original, like, to this the first time, because it was pretty... Like, I was losing my mind on this. I didn't die, but man, it was driving me kind of... It wasn't driving me crazy either, I don't want to say that, like, it's a bad thing. It was actually very cool. Anyway, this one, you're going to want to try to lure him up towards the top. And start moving about the same time he does, and boom, there we go. You need him to start at the top when he starts moving, because otherwise you're not going to have time to get the bomb. But you also don't want his path to be straight down, either. So you don't want to like have him at the top and already be under him when he starts moving. Otherwise he'll get to you before... And there won't be any space for you to throw the bomb at him, so... This one was interesting. This one took me a minute, but it's not that hard. Basically, he's got a shield up now. And you can't hit him with that. It's shield to block it. So what you have to do is bank a seat off the wall and hit him from behind. Two and... Three. Nice. And finally, as is often the case in most Zelda games, we have to... Huh? He ain't done yet? Well, good lord, man. There, have that. Now. So then he comes down with the chain balls throws one at you, all you gotta do is pull the other one out. Boom! Whoops! No, I guess I didn't pull it enough. Let's try this again. There we go, okay. Was he trying to do it two times in a row? Two times in a row? We've got big balls! Dirty big balls! Suck it! Yeah! Bossa Nova! You got a heart container. How long did that take anyway? That's still gonna be two videos, probably. But man, it was, uh... Yeah, I didn't think that dungeon was actually that hard. Even the first time, it was kind of a breeze. Kind of a breeze. I just sprayed it in the air and got the stench out, you know? So... Well, guys, I'll tell you what, man. It's been a crazy couple of days here. Well, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, to be honest. So, um, but I'm hoping, you know, that now that mom gets home from the hospital, she is going to need chemotherapy, unfortunately, so, yeah. Way to ruin the mood, you know, you just beat the eighth level of the game, but, ah. That's life, though, isn't it? Wait for you no matter how long. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> laughing at. 
You already got the glob equipped, you silly. Around here. And you got a ring! This ring actually, well, is, is very good. It's probably the best ring in the game. Actually, I'm not 100% sure about that, but uh, can I warp out of here? Well, I guess I almost have to, don't I? I don't know what would happen if I tried to play the song, like, to warp through time. Don't think I want to know. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get this ring appraised, and then that'll be pretty much it for this video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for understanding if you've you know, been around if it seems like I've been a little out of sorts. I didn't really... It's like I said, my dad, you know, I had the, the news of that was hard enough. And now hearing about this, it's hard, but... I don't I, I guess I've just always been the kind of person that doesn't worry. I never saw the point. I guess I did mention this, though, in part 5 of my 40 days, 40 nights, whatever. <laughs> no, my life is not a Harrison Ford porn. Uh, okay, appraise. This is 20 rupees, and this is the blue ring. It does exactly what it did in the first game. So again, with the Zelda 1 references, y'all. Gotta say, man. I hope they keep this up. Alright, well, next time on Zelda Oracle of Ages, holy crap, guys. Like, we're almost done here, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, um, yeah, thanks for watching, take care, and I love you all. See you real soon.